what is your top five manga of 2013? Let's do this. Yo, what's up, everyone? Panda here, and yes, I'm going to be doing my top five ongoing mangas of 2013. I know it can change; it's already halfway through year, but I felt like I really want to talk about this because I haven't done a discussion, a rant, or any kind of like you know video apart from news and anime for a while. And since like you know I'm going to be away for a while, um, I thought I'd do this video and show you like what my top five uh, ongoing manga did. and um. Each one on this list, I would highly recommend on this list. Um, definitely recommend it. Um, but let's get on with my number five. And my number five on my list is Beelzebub. Now, people may not really like Beelzebub. They're like a comedy, and it's like, you know, I guess you're a bit hard to get into. Like, in a way, it's a little bit like Gintama with like the comedy and the action. But at the moment, Beelzebub for this year has been on fire. It has literally been really really good like with his current arc with like um the whole ishiyama war it's been very good and the whole like i mean there have been some like what the hells and you know bits where he was like oh my god like the best chapter happened in like in this year for beelzebub so it was great and it was just sick and i would highly recommend a lot of people check out beelzebub number four on my list is bleach now bleach has always you know been really like is passionate for it i've really enjoyed it for a very long time although in the time it ha like some of the chapters have been a little bit here i said not too good but overall this the, the current app we've been in is been fantastic i've absolutely enjoyed it and you know it is still my favorite of the big three out of you know naruto and one piece so and it always is like you know something that's gonna be special um to me um uh, whenever I read it and all that, and I would really recommend if you haven't, you know, read Bleach, watch Bleach, you know, what's wrong with you, but you need to get into the manga as now it is very good. Number three on my list is Fairy Tale, and I know people are gonna say, oh, fuck Fairy Tale, you know, like they hate it. I, I don't really, you know, okay, this is my list in the end of the day, and regardless of what people said, regardless of how the arc ended in Fairy Tale, um, being one of my least favorite arcs in it. I still really enjoy it. It's funny, goofy, it's got great fan service, fighting is good, art is beautiful, and you know, it's a very fun adventure, you know. You know, it's my own, I guess you say a little one piece or something like that. If it's like adventurous and all that. And not to mention, like lately, like it shows how hard this manga works as he put out three chapters in a row consecutive for, um, for two weeks, you know, that is some very major hard shit to do and I've got to give Hero that and that is very impressive and we get some old nostalgia recently in Fairy Tale and you know he is going back to his roots of Fairy Tale and I have to give him to that. Number two on my list is Maggie or Maggie and um, the Labyrinth of Magic. This series has literally been a blast and I am loving this is probably one of my favorite weeklies I'm reading right now. It is great I am not gonna lie. At the moment that is probably one of my, my most recommended of my weeklies. Like, you have got to get into Maggie. It is so good right now. Um, the whole Magnus at War has been great. I mean, regardless of what the anime has butchered it and just literally dragged it to the ground, it's a shame. But, you know, we've got season two. Hopefully they might be able to do something with that. But the, the manga at the moment and, you know, with us now getting the manga, the first volume, definitely picking it up day one cannot wait to pick that up you know and we've just got some really sick fighting the art is great just overall maggie is great but number one for my list of 2013 is attack on titan shingeki no kyojin this series when i caught up to it this year um after seeing quite a bit of the anime like that i was absolutely shocked by it you know some of the you know chapters that that chapter 42 will always stay in me like there was something you know like what the fuck you know oh my god what is happening this series has brought me you know so many you know emotions and just so many things i never expected from the series the art is beautiful you know as well the story is so interesting it's got great action as well and overall it's left a big impact on me in this list and I really do say that Attack on Titan will probably still be in my top five even in next year because it was incredible 
and I enjoyed it. Like, Attack on Titan, as I always say, you do be so good. It's just simple as that. And that is my top five list of ongoing manga of um, 2013. I would love to hear like what some of your favourites are. Like, you know, what do you think? Like, are some other mangas? I know I'm reading quite a few right now, but I'll definitely like this list can probably change later on, depending on what like series I start reading and all that. Because I do read quite a few, fair few um, series, but I know I feel like I'm very. My uh, list is there, and it was a very good list. But that's all for me, everyone. So thank you very much for watching. As always, remember, strut lavender, sign out, and I'll see you next time.